Um, first question I want to ask is, uh, has God ever messed with your plans? <laughs> um, sure. Uh, or, or maybe it's not always God. It's just, uh, you know, nature and uh, other people and other institutions and traffic. Mm. And uh, I notice your career plan has been an interesting one. And you've jumped across now from being a writer to being a director. How's the transition been for you? I love directing. Um, I probably liked it even more than I thought I was going to like it. So um, I, I don't know whether that means it was, it was an easy transition, but I like the end result. Mm. And uh, what brought you to Philip K. Dick's short story? My producing partner pitched it to me, actually. And mm. this the idea of um, uh, a guy fighting fate, but where fate isn't an abstraction, where fate is a group of people that are sort of all around you in your daily life that you don't notice, I thought was a pretty fascinating premise, and nobody had made a movie about it before. So. We are the people who make sure things happen according to plan. We monitor the entire world. Oh. Can't outrun your fate, dude. It wasn't daunting at all adapting the great man and his notoriously crazy, deep, and interwoven themes. Uh, it was very daunting, um, especially because I wanted to um, layer on other genres. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wasn't even doing a straight adaptation. Um, mm -hmm. and, the, and it was a short story and a fairly uh, thin short story. So there was, I had to kind of uh, develop all the characters and I wanted to go into different thematic territory than him and I wanted the tone to be very different. So yeah, it was a hellish adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> but you did well in the end. Well, thank you. Um, and how did uh, you come to get your wonderful, wonderful cast? I know you've uh, written for Matt Damon before. Is there any connections? Uh, well, you know, Matt was a simple matter of getting the script right, and um, I had an open line to him, so uh, I actually took him the first draft of the script and said, would you ever consider doing a story with this crazy, fantastical premise, and you have to be a romantic lead, things he hadn't done, really. And, um, you know, he said he was interested, and then. I got the script to a place where he wanted to be in it, and when Matt Damon signs up for a movie and the studio says we want to make it, then it's surprising how many people are interested in being in the movie then. It's about you. Why do you refuse to accept what should be completely obvious by now? You've seen what we can do. I've got to say, um, watching the film, in some ways it was quite almost an, an unnaturalistic, given the supernatural themes. Once uh, Damon was on board, were you not... Uh, tempted to go all out with blockbuster special effects and things, or were you always keen to keep the story at the heart? From my interests, uh, I really wanted the story to be uh, naturalistic feeling. Um, that, was, uh, that was sort of one of my starting premises. And frankly, I think uh, Mad is best in those kind of movies. Um, so uh, yeah, that, uh, that was from the original conception to what you see on screen. And. Uh i got to say, um, Matt Damon and Emily Blunt had great chemistry. Was that something that they instantly clicked with, or did you have to work on that? I screen tested Emily, and 15 seconds into the screen test, I, I was like, this is the woman who should do the role. OK, you know what? Let's race to that lamppost. You win, I dance for you. I win, <laughs> you dance for me. On the pole? <laughs> if you like, yeah. All right, this is serious. All right, what are the rules? There are no rules. Oh, you bastard! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> you challenged okay, me in those shoes? I'm, okay, fine. You know what? I can't. I can't. You're right. These are the wrong shoes. I'm going to twist an ankle. Well, you so, said no, no rules. Dumb idea. A I dumb was idea. a dumb idea. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Perfect. They didn't have much screen time together either, did they, really, in the grand scheme? To make a believable romance, we were right. frightened about that. Yeah, I mean, the the... Scenes they have where they where they meet and they meet for a second time um, are completely crucial to making the whole movie work. So, and um, was Emily a natural dancer? I mean, there was a lot of technical stuff in those short scenes. Was that something that she did all herself? Uh, she trained really hard and she did a lot of great work. Um, but she's playing one of the greatest dancers in the world. So we had some help from one of the greatest dancers in the world. Wait. If you stay with her, it not only kills your dreams, it kills hers. 
there are a lot of lots of little details that sort of piece the story together. You know, the, the rain obfuscating God's senses and the hats. Were there any sort of stylistic influences that helped you pick out these visual references? Um, I wasn't really referencing another film. It was it was uh, each one. I had a different reason for the the hats. I wanted to you to be able to, I wanted the Adjust Bureau guys to be able to sort of fit into the background so you don't know where they are around you. And they're wearing suits because Matt's a politician in the movie and he's always in a suit. But the hats were like a little extra flourish that would allow you to sort of see them in the background. And I also wanted to kind of uh, foreshadow the notion that um, there's a space for free will and the idea of their being unable to use their powers unless they have the, the hats on is a sort of limitation on them. So there were things like that. I just approached them each individually. Uh, I was hoping for a little, uh, they looked, they reminded me a little bit of just the way they were dressed of, you know, in Himmel Uber Berlin, the Vin Vendors film. And... Oh, oh, uh, the, uh, the Angels film, mm. talking about. Um, what's the name of it in English? Um, I can't remember, I only remember the German name now off the top of my head. Um, Wings of Desire. Yes. Yeah. Um, I saw Wings of Desire and I loved it, so th that influence is probably in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> we all absorb these things, don't we, and you yeah. never know the way they come out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How did we just do that? I'm so sorry. Okay. How did we just okay, okay. do that? These doors belong to the people who are chasing us. <laughs> who are they? I, I, I don't know what to call them, but uh, they, they, they want to take you away from me. Um, all right, so one slightly more uh, quirky question for you. If you could adjust any film from the past, which film would you adjust? Would I? Oh, God, I don't know. That, I, you mean to make it uh, different or better or...? Yeah, let's take it that way. I'm happy to, whichever way you'd like to put it, but yeah, let's say make it different or better. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I can't think of a good, oh, good answer to that. Right, what about resetting a film? Is there a film that you watched and you just wished you could reset it? I, can, I mean, I can think of people I'd want to reset. <laughs> I can think of some politicians I'd want to reset, but, uh, you know, film is like a very personal medium for the per from the person who did it, so it's like they, you have to ask them what they'd want to change in it. You can ask me next film what I'd want to change in this one. In your own career, so you're <laughs> hoping not to have to adjust or reset any of your own films in the future. Oh, I probably, I'm sure I'll want to. I'm sure I'll look back and want to. Are your next projects more writing or uh, directing again? Uh, I'd like to direct again, um, but direct something that I wrote. Excellent. And is there something in the pipeline that we can look forward to? There's a, there are a couple scripts that I'm working on, and uh, I just need a little rest after this movie comes out, and a little time to figure out which one, and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Well, we very much look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.